I th All right, so let's go over the PB changes. So patch 14.19, which is the patch that's going to happen after Worlds, is getting a huge amount of changes via items, which we've read yesterday in the dab block. Now, the thing is, this is going to kind of suck for pros because they're going to be playing the game so much different than the patch they're playing Worlds on, which kind of sucks for pros. And I feel bad for them. So, okay, so there's a lot to go over with here. I think the TLDR is that I think the game is going to be insanely unbalanced when this happens. Because honestly, when Riot said, hey, we're nerfing item stats by 5 to 15%, I thought it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But then you start reading the items and you're going to quickly notice that the nerfs are insane, like on certain items. And I truly think that people might actually complain that the game, that, that, that nobody's doing to the, to any damage. I, I truly think the changes are so big that people might just be like, oh my god, I'm doing no damage, and people will start complaining and stuff like that. Uh, basic item elixirs. Tooltips now claim they require level 12, but they currently still require level 9. So this I think you can ignore. I don't think Riot is going to change this. There's a rune they're going to add, which, will be, which we will go over later that apparently is not getting shipped. So this is why this says here, but I think this is not gonna get shipped. Doris Ring, mana less health restore per second is now fixed 0 0.55 instead of being 0 uh, 0.45 of the blah, blah, blah. Yeah, whatever, doesn't matter. Uh, Doris Shield, tooltip no longer notes triggering the region from large monsters. So I guess that that doesn't really do much. I guess if you get hit by a large monster, you don't region as much. Okay, whatever. Junglers don't buy this. Dagger, we have 50 less gold. I think Dagger is severely underpowered right now. Uh, I think two, like maybe the, maybe we're going to get some boss in law where you just start two daggers level one in you, or something. I don't know. Uh, it helps a little bit, right? Sometimes you're going to be able to buy more daggers in lane. I think this actually makes a big difference, right? Especially if you're like Yoni also or certain ADC. You might be able to sometimes buy two daggers instead of one. Fire Charm is also going to be even cheaper. Okay, Sapphire Crystal is going to be cheaper, but will give you more mana. Wow, so a Sapphire Crystal buff, I'm kind of surprised about that. Wow, that's pretty insane. Um, I don't think most, most champs are still going to be buying Dorn's Ring. That's not going to change, but yeah, okay. You, you a lot of times you're basing on 800 or 900 gold as a mid laner and you buy Amplifying Tome and Sapphire Crystal. And this, I mean, this is kind of nice. So then we have more boots nerfs. So, Berserker boots are getting five less attack speed and they're going to have two daggers in the build path, which I guess is a better build path, but worse boots overall. It sucks because Berserkers did get nerf 5% attack speed already before. So now the Berserkers went from 35 to 25% attack speed. Boots of Sweetness are getting nerfed by 75 gold. I believe the Berserker nerf is bigger than 75 gold. Like 5% attack speed is a bigger nerf than 75 gold here. So Sweetness Boots does not, does not seem to be a big nerf. The City Boots, 50 less gold, 5 less hates. This build, these boots suck. They're so bad. They're so bad. You're never buying this. They're already the worst boots in the game. I mean, they continuously being the worst boots in the game. I have no clue why they're nerfing this. These are terrible boots. You buy, um, you buy um, Sorks if you're a mage. Merc, Merc Chats, 25 less gold, 10% less tenacity. I, like, okay. <sighs> how, should I, how should I begin? I truly do believe... Crowd control is extremely overpowered, and I believe that now that items are going to get nerfed and champions are going to start doing less damage and being less tanky or whatever, and the ability update comes in now with this change, I truly believe CC is going to be even more OP. So to me, it's insane that we're nerfing this. I have no clue. Like, I think these boots, if anything, maybe should be more expensive. Maybe they should give less MR. I don't know. But like, why are we doing this? Like, yeah, I guess we're just going to be drafting CC. Plated Steel Caps getting a 25 gold nerf. I, I think Plated Steel Caps are one of the worst boots in the game right now. I think Merc Sorks are way better than Plated Steel Caps right now. So I think basically from the boot changes, I think Sweetness Boots are going to be fine. Plated Steel Caps are going to be fine. Mercs, Yonion, and Berserker are the heavy nerf side here. Um, 
uh, yeah, uh, these are so all the boots are not getting nerfed. So the boots that are, aren't getting nerfed are, are how do you say it? Symbolic souls, the mobility boots. And I truly believe those boots are overpowered. So I think uh, more champions might be swapping to those boots, especially in solo queue. I think Queen is the best abuser of sy symbolic souls in the game. Uh, those boots are for sure overpowered. People are just not realizing it. 80 items. So then we have some epic items here. So Coffee's War Hammer, which in my opinion is a very undertuned item because it got nerfed not too long ago, is getting 50 gold glass, so it's going to be better. Hardwood Axe is also, in my opinion, undertuned. Um, is going to be 100 gold cheaper, which is also nice. This is an item you buy into Trinity Force. And Red Tricks, and it's an item that I think is pretty good, is getting less gold for less AD. This to me also seems to be a nerf to the item. Black Cleaver is going to be Phage, Kindle, Gem, Pickaxe now. So I would argue roughly similar build path, if not better. And AD on the Black Cleaver is going to be 15 down. So, okay, you're buying Black Cleaver mainly for haste, health, and armor pen. AD is not going to be such a defining stat on the item. This seems fine. Bloodthirster uh, just got nerfed, is actually getting buffed now. So I guess Riot thinks they over nerfed the shield and they're buffing it back up. No clue what the point of this is. Okay, sure. I don't know. I'm confused about this. Kempak Chainsword, item that literally nobody buys and should probably be buffed, is now 3.1k gold, builds out of John's belt, and has 450 health and 45 AD. Oh, I skipped Bork. Sorry. Uh, let me read that. But anyway, this item sucks. Like what? 3.1k gold for to buy anti-heal? Like, mm, this sucks. Blade of the Ruin King lost 10 AD. I think the item is still going to be fine. It's obviously losing some stats, sure, but it's not the end of the world. I don't, I don't think so. Das Dance is going to be more expensive. I already think this item is not very good, so no clue what's happening here. Eclipse is going to be 100 gold more expensive. Target HP damage gets removed. So Eclipse will no longer do damage on the proc. It will only shield, if I understand this correctly. Yeah, huge nerf. I mean, huge nerf. Definitely huge nerf. Experimental Hexplate. Item that almost nobody buys, in high elo at least. Tunnel of Fate and Dagger. So I would say build path roughly similar, if not maybe a little bit better. HP goes up, AD goes down, attack speed goes down. I would argue these are probably slight nerfs to the item. Ginsel's Rage Blade, 5 less AD, 5 less AP. To me, very little nerf to Ginsel. You don't buy this for the stats that much. You buy it mostly for the on hit uh, passive, so Ginsel's going to be fine. Cool Breaker, which I personally think the game would be better if this item just wasn't in the game. Um, Tunnel Retrix Pickaxe into Tunnel Wing Moon Plate Pickaxe, with 100 gold being cheaper. I kind of hate when items. I kind of hate it when you complete all the um, components of the item and then you only need like very small amounts to finish the item. I personally really hate when this happens. So I really hate this. Like 75 gold, I think this is... I, I hate items like this. HP bigger, move speed down by 1%, AD down by 25, non structure proc damage, base AD scaling, 150 melee, 70 range. A turret, uh, what is this? THP scaling, what is exactly this means? Oh, total HP scaling, right. Total HP scaling being up, and you have more health on the item, so this also like kind of buffs. So, this is like non-structure proc damage. I don't get it. Like, what? This item's proxy against non-structures? I don't understand exactly how this item works, because I don't really buy it. Uh, it says structure proc damage unchanged, okay? I, I don't know. Overall, like, item seems to be fine. Ra did say that they're going to reshape the stats on this like what juggernauts or whatever they're called the class to have to have like to, to be more defining their most defining stat is going to be hp so it kind of makes sense why a lot of these items are losing ad like black lever and they're getting like hp or whatever to me item seems to be kind of similar slash better three hit pass and turrets and champions i didn't even know this item procs and champions like honestly i just learned that what the fuck and it's stronger. I mean, yeah, item seems to be the same one or ever. Like, you buy it in the same spots as you do now. Kraken Slayer, 1% move speed down, uh, 5, 580 down, and proc damage down by a lot, especially towards late game. I personally think um, Kraken Slayer is already 
not very good. Like, honestly. Uh, I don't know. I personally think Shiv right now is much better than Kraken Slayer. I think this item already got nerfed way too much. And the fact that it's getting nerfed now also is questionable. I don't know. Really bad item in my opinion. Mana Moon, innate AD, 30. Mana, Muramana, innate AD, 30. On hit damage goes down. Ability damage goes 4 melee, 2% range. And base AD scaling is removed. So, this looks like a huge hit to Muramana, and also looks to be a bigger hit on range than melee. Which is kind of hard, uh, which is kind of weird, because Muramana is often more of a range uh, item, historically, ever since League exists. It's almost never you really bought on melee champions, unless it's like a Kiana who needs mana or something. So, I don't know. Um, we're really weird, really big, big nurse to this item. Malver Mortius, 10 less AD. Shield bonus AD scaling uh, also goes down. Um, so, rain champs still have 0.75% of the values. To me, this doesn't seem to be the end of the deal of Marmor Mortius. I, I think, like, most of the time, a lot of champions don't overkill the shield, and you're losing very little stats, and you still have the base amount on the item. Still seems to be fine to me. Mercurial Scimitar, which, in my opinion, is pretty weak item, because it simply costs too much. Um, cost is now down by 100, and Ammer is down by 10. Um, yeah, nerf to the item. Overlord Bloodmail, don't really see this item that much. Bigger health, a little bit less AD. To me, item is probably going to be fine. Ravenous Hydra, ability haste 5 down, AD 5 down. Active total AD scaling down, and active lifestyle effectiveness, effectiveness down as well. So here, personally, I don't think they're really big nerfs. I think the biggest nerf is probably this line here. Because the thing is, like, so many Fiora players and whoever else, like, all the players, when, like, go, like, 1 HP, then they go next to the wave and they're full HP all of a sudden. And I definitely think the active was very stupid regarding that. The, what Riot should have done is they should have done, they should have made the active heal a lot when you're low HP, when you hit champions, not minions. They should have, like, separated those two things and they didn't. Spear Sojin, a bit of a uh, little bit of different build path. Uh, innate ability haste completely removed. HP up by 150, AD down by 10, and passive ability haste down uh, up by by 10, which basically means that this uh, item is also losing 10 ability haste overall, right? And 10 AD and getting 150 HP. I would say pretty big nerfs because honestly, when you're buying Spear Sojin, I feel like the stat you care most about is Ability Haste. Static Shoe is getting 1% less move speed, 5 less AD, and 5% less attack speed. Comparing this to Kraken Slayer, in my opinion, Kraken Slayer is a weaker item than Shoe, and Kraken Slayer is getting a bigger nerf than Shoe. It makes no sense, really. Stars Gauge, base AD as bonus AD, uh, goes down by 5%. Shield bonus HP scaling goes down by 20%. Stars Gauge seems to be still pretty good. Comparing it to other items. Shy Baker, who I think is pretty OP item. AD 50 to 40, attack speed 30 to 25, on damage speed gets removed. This, I think, is going to play a huge part in top laners. I, like, it is very hard for people to understand how much 20 move speed matters, whether you're range or melee. It's like removing 20 move speed on, on hit on Trinity Force. It's like, this is really, 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 really big. Like, honestly, this is a big, 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 big nerf to Shy Baker. Sundered Sky. Um, gets uh, a better build path, ability haste, five down. Why are we saying Sundered Sky? Is that even an item? Isn't it, wait, what? Isn't it called different? Am I stupid? What? I don't get it. Uh, uh, 5 ability haste less, 50 less health, and 5 less AD. Heal base AD scaling also goes down. Range is still half of the value. So you're still not going to be buying this really on range. It's like a melee only item. Um, seems to be roughly okay still. I mean, they're like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, Divine Summoner was the other one. Got it. Yeah, I'm kind of, I kind of, like, to me, 
If you're Atrix, you're still gonna be buying this, right? That's not gonna really change. If you're Jarvan, if you're leasing, you're probably still gonna be buying this. Terminus, only five less AD. Item is looking pretty good compared to the rest. Titanic Hydra, 50 less, uh, 50 more health. Gets a bit of a different build path, which doesn't seem to matter all that much, I would say. Build path is maybe a little bit better. Bonus on hit damage to primary target removed. AoE damage unchanged. What? Okay, I don't know how big that is because I don't really know how much bonus on hit damage this, this item does to a primary target, but removing it like that seems to be pretty insane. Also, it kind of feels like the amount of HP will be a little bit will go a little bit up in the game. So champions that like benefit having like HP percent damage are going to probably benefit from all these changes from what I can see. GT4, ability here is down by 5, HP down up a little bit, AD down by, what is this number, 9, I don't know, and attack speed down by 3%. Um, yeah, they're pushing a lot of these items to be like more, giving more HP and less other stats. They, like GT4, like GT4 change basically sucks on like ADCs, and it's like good for like, I mean it sucks for everybody, but it sucks less on like champions like Camille, or maybe some other like melee champion, than it does on... ADCs like Smolder and Ash and stuff like that. Also, like Israel is getting nerfed pretty hard with itemization because Trinity Force nerf. Um, then there's like what? Manamon nerf. With Sand, 5 less MR, attack speed down by 5%, all hit damage 45 at all levels. Yeah, this item fucking sucks. It is so bad. I really don't think With Sand is a good item right now. Almost nobody buys it. It's very hard to find champions that abuse this item. Aurelia obviously does, but not many champions do. I think this item fucking blows. 45 more damage at every rank is so bad. Crit uh, items. Noon Quiver. Old and new. So, Noon Quiver is going to be building out of one less longsword and it's going to be 100 gold cheaper, but it's using 5 AD. Item is for sure nerfed. Scout Slingshot, 200 less gold, wow, wow, really, and no stat changes, wow, okay. I guess now that daggers are 250 instead of 300, you can like decrease it to 600, right, because it builds out of two daggers, okay. I mean, this item does, is really bad, so it kind of makes sense why they're buffing it, but to buff it by 200 gold just shows how Riot initially missed the mark when they shipped the item to the game. Zeal, 100 gold more expansive, last move speed, blows, big nerf. Essence Reaver, 10 less ability haste, 10 less damage AD. To me, the ability haste probably matters more here than the AD loss. Sucks, obviously. Infinity Edge, 3.6k gold, 10 less AD. Wow. I mean, Essence Reaver here is getting definitely less of a nerf, I would say, than Infinity Edge. 3.6k gold. This will also make Infinity Edge a lot worse to rush. I do think Infinity Edge probably deserved a little bit of a nerf, but this is obviously very big. Lord Doms is losing 10 AD, but everything else is retained. Mortal Reminder is going to be 200 gold more expansive and give less armor pen. So if you want the armor pen option, you're going to go Lord Doms. If you want the anti heal option, with more expansiveness, you want, you want to go more to Reminder. However, I definitely think Lord Dom seems to be a lot better item than more to Reminder with this type of change. So, yeah, most people will probably swap again to Lord Dom's. Navori Flicker Blade is going 50 gold more expansive and move speed to items is going to 4%. So, if you've been noticing, a lot of move speed on items is going back to 4%. So the, the, the game will no longer be overloaded with move speed on so many classes anymore, which is a very good thing. I personally thought Raj should go back to 5%, but 4% is also probably okay. And I do really like uh, that Raj is, you know, um, nerfing the amount of move speed because this is going to help a lot of champions. A lot of champions like Zart and Velikos and stuff like that struggle because champions are too fast. Phantom Dancer, cost 2.6k, a little bit more expensive, loses 4% move speed. So actually a bit of a bigger nerf for PD than Navori, but then again, PD is probably a bit of a better item than Navori in most cases. Runa's Hurricane also gets the same nerf. Yuntal Wind Arrows, so item that literally nobody buys. 
builds out of pickaxe now. So I just wanted to say that I hope the AD carry mains understand, understand now, uh, after these type of changes, the struggle of having BF Sword in your build path. Because we as mage players have to suffer every single day because we have four items that build out of needlessly large rods, which is ridiculous. I believe BF Sword, sure, GA builds out of it, but you never build that item. You only buy BF on BT and Infinity. And now you're going to also be buying it out of Yuntal if you even consider this item. So ADCs definitely have it much easier, is what I'm trying to say. Um, so yeah, worst build path. AD goes down by 5. Bleed damage goes from 35 total AD to 80 constant. Oh, Collector. True, Collector does help BF. That is true. I kind of forgot about that item. Um... I mean, this is a nerf, right? Like what? 35 total AD is so much bigger than 80 constant if I'm not missing something. Um, and you buy this item in late game anyway, right? So it's only a nerf and you have more than 300 AD. Really? Uh, oh, true, fair enough. I kind of misread the item. Um, item still, I mean, this item is not getting nerfed very, like a lot compared to like all the other items I've been reading, right? Like, of course, they're not gonna nerf this item by a lot because this item is already not bought by anyone. Oh, it's 230. Okay, I got baited. 230 AD. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's still a nerf to the item, but it's not, not the, as big of a nerf um, compared to other items. Then we have Lethality uh, item. So Aksham Arc is losing 5 haste and the ult cooldown refund is getting weaker. But the thing is like you don't care about the ult cooldown refund in my opinion that much on the item. So I think in this case Aksham Arc is like getting nerfed pretty small here. Oops. Collector, 200 gold more expensive, 2, two less Lethality. I mean this item really stinks. This item really stinks. So, so far, from what I'm reading, I feel like BT is still really good. Infinity Edge, you're probably still gonna want to buy. Lord Doms is still okay. I guess you're still choosing between Shiv and Bork, maybe? I, I don't know, like, I I'm trying to, like, picture what ADXC builds are going to look like. Collector definitely stinks, but some of the other items still seem to be fine. Edge of Night, 200 gold more expensive. <laughs> Damn, that's pretty crazy. Hubris loses all its AD. Uh, so, no, wait, I'm misreading, sorry. Hubris loses 5 ability haste, so not a big nerf. Opportunity, innate move speed down by 1%, AD down by 5, innate lethality down by 3, passive lethality is, uh, is 10 at every level, so basically a nerf at. Never mind, it's not, never a nerf, it's always a buff, right? But then again, this is a nerf. So, it kind of looks like the item's fine to me. Am I missing something? The item seems to be fine, no? Proven Hydra, um, OP item, let's see what they do. So, 5 less ability haste, pass through total AD scaling, 25 melee, uh, 20 range, so that's the, the Tiamat. Okay, so it's going to be a lot weaker wave clear. Active. 100% or 130 below 50% health to 80% always. Wow, okay. It's a much needed nerf. I think it's a much needed nerf. It's a very big nerf. But then again, like this item was for sure the most OP item in, in the Tarty system. To me, it is, looks like Opportunity looks fine. Harbris looks fine. Edge of Night, big nerf. Collector, big nerf. Auction Mark, fine. Profit Hydra, big nerf. Sergio Scratch, five. Uh, so, wait, so, okay. Uh, 200 gold less expensive. Confident Warhammer, Last Whisper, totally fine build, path. Ability haste up by 5, Lethality completely removed, so no longer gonna be bound to Lethality users only. Armor Pen goes to 30% constant. Since the Armor Pen is now an innate stat instead of a passive stat, it will also now count for Jack of All Trades. Ooh, okay. Um... Um... Uh, I think it's going to be an okay item. It's 
it's hard to say. I feel like if you're a Lethality user, you're probably more sad. And if you're not very big on Lethality, you're probably okay. Umbra gave we lose five ability haste, not a big deal. We'll, ta we'll take Cyclosword. So this item is only bought by Zap players occasionally. 100 gold more expansion, five less ability haste, okay. On the smaller side. Yomu's Ghost Blade will get uh, 100 gold more expansion, builds out of a pickaxe now, which is not too bad, so better build path. And then out of combat move speed will be 20 always, which means that this item is a uh, much more nerf for melees than ranged. And yeah, I guess Talon mid is very sad with this nerf. Damn, I wonder what... Now that I look at Lethality items, I wonder what Lethality champions are going to be built. So the thing is, I think most champions would probably still buy Prof and Hydra, just because of how broken the fact that killing camps fast and killing waves fast in League of Legends is. It's just such a broken thing. Um, other than that, everything is kind of nerfed, but yeah, I don't see what what they can really do about it. Okay, major items, here we go. Let's see, uh, let's see how much we can cry about majors now. So, either Wisp, an item in my opinion that was probably a little bit too good. Cost goes up by 50, move speed goes down by 1%. I think this is probably deserved. Finish Codex, an item in my opinion a bit, a bit weak, actually gets a buff, thank you Riot, 850 gold. Okay, seems fine. Needless in large rod, in my opinion, probably a little bit too strong, although I don't like that too many items are building out of it. 5 AP down, seems fine. Seeker Zomgard, um, also goes 5 AP down, seems totally fine. Verdant Barrier, MR down by 5, kinda weird in my opinion, that they're not nerfing the AP part of Verdant Barrier, but they're nerfing the MR part of ner uh, Verdant Barrier. To me, that's kinda weird. Oblivion Orb, down by 5 AP as well, okay, so that's... Not even that nerf to mid laners, it's more of a nerf to like supports also. That buy this. Archangel stuff, so so far everything seems to be fine. Archangel stuff, AP goes down by 10. Seraph's Embrace, AP down by 10. Base shield down by 50. Not the end of the, the world, I would say, for Seraph. It does suck to lose 10 AP. The base shield being weaker, I don't think really matters that much. A lot of times people don't overkill the shield, in my opinion. Banshee Whale, so this item stinks. It's only good when people are full AP. This item stinks. It has such a horrible build path. It is terrible to build. The fact that it gives you no ability haste sucks and it makes the game very unenjoyable. What are they doing with the item? They're hard nerfing it. What the fuck are they thinking? This item is so bad and they're nerfing it. 200 gold more expansive, 10 less MR, 15 less AP, and cooldown goes up by 10. You're never buying this, like genuinely. Even when they're full AP, maybe you're buying this. And even then, you're probably not buying it. This item is completely dead. They're gonna buff this in the future. Black Fur Torch, less ability haste, 10 less AP, burn damage per second, base goes up, AP scaling goes down. Uh, so how does the math work here? You need to... I can't do the math, I'm so stupid. So it's a buff till you're like what, 500 AP. It's a buff till you're at 500 AP. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Okay, so the burn damage is fine. This is a fine change. AP does suck and ability haste especially sucks really, really hard in my opinion. Overall, I mean, your Blackfire Torch is going to be fine. You're going to buy this on the same uses as before. Like, basically, the mages that have dots and use this item very well are still going to be buying it. Okay, Cosmic, ins uh, Cosmic Drive. Cosmic Drive is not a weak item, but also an item that most champions don't buy. Move speed down by 1%, seems fine. Ability, uh, AP down by 10%, at uh, 10, I mean, seems fine. Passive move speed, got it. Completely got it. Like, wow. Wow, 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 wow. 20 at all levels. I mean, if you play Syndra, you buy this item, you hit Q, you're not gonna feel 20 move speed as much as you do feel 40 to 60. Um, 
yeah, I would say the nerf seems to be a bit on the heavier side. Free Bloom, 10 less AP, healing, base up by 10, AP scaling down. So late game healing on Creep Bloom is going to be much worse. Early game healing is going to be better, but the problem is that you buy this item on 3 or 4 in almost every case. So this item will be worse, like healing wise, a lot worse. And I do think the aura healing of Creeblum is actually really strong. So I kind of get why they would maybe nerf this item. If Void Stuff is untouched and this item gets this nerf, and if Void Stuff is untouched, then you're going to be buying Void Stuff all the time. I don't know if Void Stuff is uh, untouched, I guess we'll see. Hectic Rock Belt loses 50 uh, health and 10 AP, sucks, Horizon Focus gets a different, so, okay, cost the same, builds out of two Fiendish Codexes and am Amplifying Tome. I would say the build path you're probably fine with, Ability Haze up, AP down by 15, I think the item will be fine. I think it kind of makes sense that the item is pushed more towards Haze than AP. Leonji's Torment down by 20 AP, I mean... It does suck, but ultimately, you're still buying the item for the HP, you're still buying the item for the passive, right? It does suck to lose 20 AP, but if your name is Brandt, you're still buying this, right? So, it, it, it's probably just worse as an item on like high AP, like on mages that have high AP ratios, and on mages that don't maybe use this passive to the fullest potential. Like, for example, like, what's, an, what's a champion? Like, maybe Orianna. Maybe Orianna kind of hates this change, but, like, Brand doesn't mind it as much. Leechbane. Um, going to be 100 gold more expensive. It's going to buy out of large drop. No fucking way, man. No way. I just complained how we have too many items building out of large drop and how Banshee and Zonia absolutely stink. Monkey balls. And Shadow Flame too to an extent, but okay, sure, Shadow Flame I can kind of get, but like Banish and Zonia, and are they really doing this? I can't, guys. Ju just, just a quick side note: Have you guys realized that almost no item builds out the Blasting Wand anymore? Have you guys realized that it's always Finish Codex, either Wisp or Needlessly Large Rod? It's never Blasting Wand. Only Roa is an item that builds out the Blasting Wand. I don't get why Blasting Wand got completely abandoned by Riot. It's a component that's like really nice and it got completely abandoned by Riot because only Riley and only Roa builds out of it. And I don't know if anything else builds out of it. I kind of forgot, but like, what the fuck is going on here? Like, I don't build Riley in most mages because jungles do. And I don't build Roa because the item stinks. So, I never build that component, almost ever. It's so sad. Anyway, what the fuck is this, man? No, Riot, no, no, no. I hate this. I hate this so much. Ability Haze down by 5, move speed down by 4%, AP up by uh, 15, and passive AP scaling down by 5%. Um, yeah, big nerfs. Big nerfs. I mean, the fact that uh, move speed is got on half is such a big nerf to Leech Bane. Like, so many users of Leech Bane really love the set move speed, and it's getting got here. Luden's Companion loses 10 Ability Haze. So, comparing Luden's Companion nerf to comparing it to. Comparing it to Blackfire Torch nerf, comparing it to Seraph nerf, where is it? Um, I think Seraph looks to be okay. Blackfire Torch is probably the biggest nerf, honestly. Like Luden's nerf, yeah, it sucks to not have a lot of haste, but it's still a really strong one item spike. It's, and it's still really cheap. So like to me, Luden still seems to be fine on its core users. You're still going to be buying this. Malignance. Um, a down 10 ability haste, up 5 AP, has a new uh, build path, oh, Blasting Wand, okay, I was complaining about Blasting Wand, there we go, we have an item actually building out of Blasting Wand now. Um, alright, this also seems to be not the biggest nerf to Malignant, seems to be still okay, I would say. So the thing I'm worried about is that Riot is, it feels like Riot is removing a lot of ability haste from the game, and... You know, when you're playing mages and you need to have a, a lot of ability haste, it's going to suck, you know, playing mages and having spells on such long cooldowns, because we don't have builds that can, like, 
like for example, if Creep Bloom is no longer a good thing, then we're losing Creep Bloom, right? And the City Boots are not purchasable. Sure, we get some ability haste from runes, but those could be nerfed in the future. And a lot of items are losing haste. Like, I feel like mages are going to go from like, I don't know, maybe like, let's say 70 ability haste on average in their build, in like three, four items, to like 50, you know? But I guess we'll see. Um, Morella Nomicon. Uh, also builds out a blasting one. That's another item. Good job, Riot. 2.9. What the fuck? Hello? Uh. I mean, I, it's, a, it's the same thing with Kempak Chainsword. Like, you don't want to spend so much gold on an item like this. The only thing you're caring about is the anti-heal. So this item also stinks. And also, by making it so expensive, what you do with this change is you make it not purchasable on supports because they don't earn enough money. So I don't know what Riot is doing here. Nauseous Tooth. I mean, they're just buffing healing because no one's gonna... I mean, okay, people will just sit on Oblivion Orb, I guess. Nauseous Tooth. Um, 10 less AP, I'll hit AP scaling also down a little bit, sure, Azir getting a bit of a nerf here. Not the end of the world for Nasher Stoot. Rabalon's Dapt Cap, oh no. Flat AP, 140 to 130, percent AP, 35 to 30. Oh, well, here's what's gonna happen. Here's what's gonna happen. A lot of majors are going to no longer be able to reach a lot of AP via builds. So they're going to be probably between 500 to 600 AP at max builds instead of 700 to 800, I would assume. And um, yeah, because AP scalings, a lot of champions don't have the best AP scalings. I think basically, like my point is you're going to be noticing so much damage loss, I think, via this item changes so far that I'm reading. And also like so much less ability haste in the game. You're going to have so longer cooldowns and spells. So yeah, we might be moving maybe a little bit more into the direction of League of Tanks, or maybe more into the direction of champions that have consistent DPS that benefit more. Usually the, the class that does that is more of ADC than anything else, I would argue, and it's scary. Uh, Reefmaker, 10 less AP, max damage amp, 8% after 4, seems to be okay. Roa, HP per stack, 10, max stacks, HP, 500, AP per stack, 3, Roa loses basically 10 AP and 100 health at max stacks. I would say it's fine. Riley Crystal uh, Scepter only loses 5 AP. What the fuck? Only 5 AP? We're not nerfing this item more? And we nerfed everything else so much more? Are we, like, really? Really? We just had a, a whole season of Brandon Lilia and probably some other champion that I'm missing right now. Abusing this to the maximum and it's losing only 5 AP like wow, what the fuck like I feel like the changes are not consistent at all Shadow flame 5 less AP damage amp is going to be 1.2 X always uh, So item seems to be what really good like what? What I feel like this item is gonna be king no with, with everyone doing less damage like, like, what? I feel like this item is just going to be so good. What? Storm Search, 1% less. Uh, move speed, passive move speed, also down on the proc. That doesn't really matter that much. I feel like the passive move speed in the proc is not that big of a thing. Damage goes up by 10 base, but AP scaling goes down by 5%. So, I would say Storm Search still seems to be totally fine. With the boss that it got this patch, and Shadow Flame, the boss that it got this patch, and now reading with the way that is they're going to be nerfed, to me, it seems like both items are big winners. Zonia's Hourglass loses 15 AP. Ch chat, how does it make sense? Why does Banshee get deleted from League of Legends, but Zonia gets 15 AP less? Like, what? Zonia's a way better item than Banshee. So, okay. It seems like Void Stuff didn't get any changes as well. So it seems like, I think we might be reaching a state where we swap from... Criblum to Void as well, because Void gives so much more AP and so much more magic pen now, and Void got buffed a lot. <clears throat> okay, so those things are done. Now we go into tank items. Um, so, holy moly, there's a lot to read here, holy moly. Oh, I'm running out of energy. Bami Cinder, 50 less health, damage per second, 2 up base, bonus HP scaling removed, non-champion damage, up. 
Okay, uh, whatever. I feel like Bami Cinder is a bad item. I feel like it's going to continuously be bad. Bramble Vest reflex damage goes up. So, okay, better Bramble Vest. Um, a lot of champions do like this. Especially in matchups, you can abuse this against Urgatano. This is really good. Glacier Buckler, 50 less gold, 5 more armor, 50 more mana. Wow, this item is getting pretty big buffs. Really, really, really weird that this item is getting these big buffs. Nagatron Cloak, 5 less MR for 50 less gold. Not the end of the world. I would say 45 MR. Sure, it's a nerf to the item, but 45 MR is still a really big. So, you know. Spectre Cowl, Cowl 10, 10 more uh, MR. Wow, so people that buy, champs that buy Spirit Research and stuff like that, really happy. Warden Mail, damage block um, is going to be. 15 base and ba bonus HP scan is going to be removed. So I don't know how much HP we really need for this to be. Uh, I think someone told me, don't you need to be have like 2k HP or 3k HP for this to be worse or something like that? So it's basically a buff, like a big buff to the item, for, as far as I know. Winged Moonplate is going to be 50, go uh, 50 health more and 1% uh, 1 less move speed. Seems to be fine. Abyssal Mask, um, 150 gold, more expansive, ability haste 5 up, innate MR, 5 down, passive MR per enemy, removed. What? Big nerf, big nerf. Or is it a big nerf? You still take down their MR, you just don't gain your yourself getting a lot of MR. I would say, yeah, it's a, probably, probably a big nerf. Deadman's Plate, 50 more health, less move speed, Armor up by 10, passive max move speed uh, from 40 to 20. I would say item is probably still on the okay side. Force of nature, uh, move speed down by 1 and passive at full stacks down by 6. Wow, what? Only that? Like, as far as I can see, like, so many tank, like, tank items seem to be getting nerfed very little so far. And less damage in the game, it just feels like we're moving into some tank meta now. Like, we're going to be finding champions that have, like, percent damage, they don't need to buy, like, offensive items that are just broken by existing. Like, CC plus percent damage is going to be the meta, so what, we're, we're walking into Zack and Poppy and Maoka and stuff? Like, really? Um, yeah, I mean, Force of Nature still looks to be amazing. Frozen Heart. 10 uh, more armor, rock, solid passive removed. I think it's not the end of the world because the thing you care the most about Frozen Heart is the attack speed um, slow for everybody. Heart still is going to be now having a better build path and HP region heart still goes down by 100. So again, heart still gets no nerfs whatsoever when I think there is a lot of plenty good heart still abusers in the game, like Mundo, like Skarner Jungle. Really boring, really boring. When people do less damage, it means you can stay longer in these fights, which means hard steel as an item benefits. Hollow Radiance, 50, uh, 50 less health, damage per second up base, bonus HP scaling down a bit, non-champion damage up a bit. TLDR is uh, it's only up against monsters. Okay, TLDR is that Hollow Radiance seems to be pretty similar, uh, very little nerf if anything. Iceborne Gauntlet, 300 gold more expansive, passive base AD scaling. What is passive base AD scaling? That's the Shin proc, right? Or what? Up by 50%. Slow is up by 15%. Total HP scaling removed. Range is the 0.5x of these values. So, sure it sucks that the item is a lot more expensive, but the item also seems to be a lot stronger. So I don't think it's the end of the world. Maybe, maybe the fact that it's so expensive, maybe you're rather just gonna buy other items. I could see that, but... Cassante is probably still okay with this item. Jockshaw, John's Belt, Chain Vest, Negatron Cloak, 650 gold. Uh, looks to have pretty much better build path, right? Better build path, 50 more health, 5 less armor, 5 less MR. I mean, seems to be fine. <laughs> like what? Items is to be totally fine. Even if you put this, like literally, if you put this change into current League of Legends, the item would still be good. Like what? Can it Rokern? Shield total HP scaling down by 3%, HP region per 5 down by 50%. Yeah, you're probably, I mean, you're pr you'll probably rather have Force of Nature or maybe something else than this, but sure. Spirit Research, 50 less health, item still fine. Some for Ages, similar uh, change to the thing. Okay, some for Ages still fine. Tormail. So, cost a lot less. Builds out of Bramble Chain Vest, so only armor. 
no longer gives HP. Armor goes up by 30. Reflect damage goes up base by 5. And bonus armor scaling goes down by 10%. So... You're no longer going to get HP from the item. To me, it's probably good for Ramos, maybe. Although, I would say this is probably bad for Ramos, because he's probably losing a lot of... Now, this is probably bad for Ramos, because he loses a lot of damage here. But... To me, the item seems to be worse, because you kind of care more about getting a lot of each... Like, more about two stats together than one stat together, if you guys know what I mean. So, like, to me... I would argue that this item is probably worse here, like a lot worse, because it's kind of like you would rather have items that also give you HP than just armor. Unless you play against full AD comp, and maybe unless your name is Ramus, I would argue this item you're probably more unhappy with. Unending Despair, 50 less health, 5 more armor seems to be fine. Varmuk is losing 1% move speed, totally fine still. I guess Mundo is happy, because Mundo just got Varmuk nerfed, but then everything else is getting nerfed around Mundo, Mundo is probably really happy now. So that's all this uh, tank item. So, so far, I would say that, like, comparing to Mage item nerfs, comparing to Lethality item nerfs, and comparing to some AD item nerfs that, and some Bruiser item nerfs that we have here in and stuff like that, like, tanks so far seems to be getting the least amount of nerfs, for sure, and we're kind of moving in the direction of League of Tanks, when we have too little damage in the game, because I think that's what's going to happen, too little damage is going to happen in the game, I think we're going to move into champions that are just tanky by nature, that have CC, because CC is going to be OP, and they have, like, percent damages, that don't have to, like, 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 Poppy, Maokai, like, Zack, like, I don't know, what else do we have, like, it's probably Sejuani, I don't know. Mundo. Support items. Bandless Mirror, down by 100 gold. Okay, so it's a buff. They're buffing this item. I think this item does suck, so it makes sense. Chalice of Blessing, I don't even know what this item is. Forbidden Idol. What? No fucking way. What? What? 200 Nothing gold? <laughs> Less expensive? Main top value looks crazy. Oh, Forbidden Idol? Like, trust me, this item is really OP, guys. It's really OP, and they're buffing it by 200 gold. I have no clue what the fuck is happening here. Arden Sensor, 100 gold less expensive. Moose speed down by 4%. AP down by 5. HSP. HSP? What is HSP? Translation? HSP? Heal shield power. Okay. Up by 2%. I mean, sure it sucks that you're losing moose pit on the item, but you have to understand that, like, do you care about moose pit on Lulu? A little bit, for sure, on Anjana. Yeah, of course you do, right? But you still buy items for other things that it does, so I think the item is still fine. Down core, 250 gold, 15 less AP. Ah... Uh... Uh, I would argue this is a buff to the item. Like, what? This, this is a buff. Echoes of Helia, uh, 5 less AP, uh, heal per shard, 10 down, damage per shard, 10 down. Uh, very small nerfs. Imperial Mandate, 50 less gold, passive speed removed. Okay, pretty small nerfs, but then again, Imperial Mandate is not an item you buy much anyway, so you don't care. Night Swallow, 100 gold more expensive. Okay, sure. Locket of the Iron Solari, um, armor down by 5, armor down by 5. Okay. Moonstone Renewer, 50 less health, AP down by 5, chain healing down by 10%, chain shielding down by 10%. So, okay, this is a bit on the heavier side of nerf, I would say. Redemption, uh, heal shield power down by 5%, okay, not too bad. Shirelia Battle Song, move speed down by 1%, okay, so I guess, like, I guess pretty small nerf, and you can still probably buy this item like TF. Staff of Flowing Water. Um, cost 50 gold down, innate AP 5 down, heal shield power 10 up, passive AP up by 15, passive move speed removed. Uh, I would say sucks. Passive move speed being removed sucks a lot. I mean, the item got lo lost a lot here, in my opinion. I think you'd rather prioritize like, any of those items compared to this item. Trailbrazer, 100 gold less, 50 more health, moves speed down by 1, so item buffed. Zeke's Convergence, damage per second down by 20. 
which I think is fine. Because Zix conversions, the purpose of the item should not be to do damage, like Rakan ulting and doing a lot of damage. The purpose of the item should be the slow, right? So it makes sense. Okay, so going over the uh, support items and going over tank items, I definitely think both these classes got the least amount of nerfs so far that I'm reading. Like most of these support items seem to be totally fine to me. Most of these tank items seem to be totally fine to me. So supports and tanks just seem to have got a lot of buffs here or like not as nerfed as the other classes. Then we have lethal tempo. So let's talk about some of the other changes. Lethal Tempo is going to be reworked. Attacking an enemy champion grants a stack of 5% for melee, 4% for range, attacks it for 6 seconds, max 6 stacks. So this means 30% or, or 24%, right? For melee or range. At max stacks, at attacks deal adaptive damage, 9 to 30 linear, 1 to 18, increased by 1% per 1 bonus attack speed, and last value for range champion. This rune also checks the percent of your blah, 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 blah. Okay, so TLDR of this rune, guys, is that it's overpowered as fuck. That's the TLDR. Sure, it's not going to be so much about attack speed anymore. It's also going to be a lot about on-hit damage. And so many champions are going to swap to this rune because this rune will be OP. 100%. I saw, like, Ranger was today on stream, and he was like, I think one item jacks with Trinity Force, and this rune gave, like, 40... I think this rune gave like 40 on hit damage per attack. Like that's just so broken. And yes, there's going to be champions that are going to abuse this way more because they're going to stack it faster, they're going to have more attack speed, or they're going to have on hits 100%. But this rune will be OP and it's going to be nerfed. So yeah, that's the TLDR. Great. Presence of mind. So presence of mind now is going to immediately give you the mana restore. Instead, uh, and have an 8 second cooldown, instead of uh, regening it slowly over the 4 seconds. But, if you read the rune, it's going to be nerfed, right? Because 1.5 to 11 is bigger than 6 to 50. Like, basically, it's going to be slightly nerfed in late game, but basically the same in early to mid game, from my understanding. So, TLDR of the rune is that it's going to be the same. It's like barely a change. In my opinion, this is probably a good thing. Because, because it's much easier for players to feel the value of the rune if it gives you immediately the value instead of giving you the value over 4 seconds. In my opinion, the rune is going to be ab ab exactly the same and you're going to s take this in exactly the same spots. It, it has almost no differences. Nimbus Cloak. A reminder that speed values are based on 3 buckets of summoner cooldowns. Speed cooldown will go 5-12%. to 12%, Speed cooldown... Oh, speed, okay, so speed cooldown over 100 seconds. Or less than 100. I'm confused. What? Is this less or over? Or more? It's less than 100 seconds. So it's going to be stronger when it's a low cooldown spell. And then if it's, if it's more or equal to 100 to 250, it's going to go also better. And then also, if it's more than 250, it's going to be better. So, okay. So, TLDR here is that the rune is, like, pretty buffed. I'm trying to think, like, what... Like, I guess this is for smites, right? This is for smites. This is for, like, ignites and exhaust. And this is for, like, TP. Right? Is how I'm looking at it. But the TLDR is that this rune is massively buffed, and I think that the role that's going to benefit here the most is support and jungle. Support and jungle, as roles, have the easiest time uh, item, uh, like taking Nimbus Cloak in the runes, and this is going to be a massive jungle buff. I have no clue why they're doing this. Like, I have no clue. This is, this is a dumb decision. This is a big mistake. Whoever made this decision is really dumb. This is, like, terrible. This is very bad. Shield Bash, resist when shielded, 1 to 10 linear, removed. Damage, 5 to 30 linear, base HP scaling, up, shield scaling, up a lot. What? So you're no longer gonna get resist for shield bath, shield bash, you're going to be using this rune mainly for damage. Um, maybe there's some champion that likes this change, I don't know, weird. 
So, so okay, then we have this change. Time warp tonic is removed, and then we have a new rune. But there was a red, there was a rioter that said on that said on Twitter, I believe, that this rune is not getting implemented. Oh yeah, it's a big shame buff. True, this is a big shame buff. There's a rioter that said on Reddit this rune is not getting implemented, okay? So take this with a grain of salt because apparently it's not happening. But basically, Riot wanted to remove Time Warp, time warp Tonic and add Endless Elixirs into the game, which replaces Time Warp Tonic. On top of that, um, Endless Elixirs, the way it works is that Elixirs can be stacked and do not, do, longer, do, not, do not expire, okay? So let me tell you, this rune would be absolutely overpowered because what would happen is you would be playing a champion that would abuse two Elixirs, probably, like at least two elixirs, like let's say you're playing Kale or Kaisa or something, I don't know, random example. You would probably be buying one item, then you would be level 9, and you would, be, you would buy both the elixirs, because the elixirs give you a lot more stats than 500 gold. And then you, you would be sitting on these elixirs for the rest of the game with a shit ton of free stats. So, so yes, this, this rune would be very OP. Um, and I'm glad they're not putting it into the game, because honestly it would be OP. And then we have the biscuit delivery, the thing that I talked yesterday. Missing mana restore gets removed, permanent mana removed, now grants 30 permanent health, because you get 3 biscuits that means 90 permanent health, which is not too bad, and missing health restore goes from 8% to 5%. So basically, this rune will be very good on, I would say, like champions that really like st um, health as their stat, that go like grasp and inspiration seconds, you, you will take like bo free boots and biscuits or like cosmic inset biscuits, so like champions like Asante are probably gonna love this. Even Jax is probably gonna like this. Like any champion that like brawls or is, a, is or is tanky or will abuse this rune in like all ins especially because this rune will heal you a shit ton in all in. You're gonna tank some uh, like for example remember like think about your Jax. You jump on someone with grasp and inspiration and then then you have a all of brawl and you're like 200 health against each other and then you pop this uh, this rune and you're healing like crazy. But yeah, these are all the, the changes, guys. So, absolutely massive changes. Again, to go over TLDR, I truly think this is going to warp the game really big. I think people are going to be shocked at how much less damage they're, they're doing, on, on especially most of the classes. I think, yes, a lot of champions are going to... Uh, to are, a lot of champions are going to need to find new builds. Um, a lot of items, I think, not all of items are getting affected, like, some items are staying the same, and some items are getting nerfed, so maybe the items that are staying the same are going to be a lot better because of that, so maybe there's going to be some new builds coming up. I definitely think the game is being pushed more towards supports, more towards tanks, more towards CC. I think champs that have, like, HP percent damage in their kits are going to, like, and champs that rely on base numbers a lot and not care about gold a lot are going to, like, be happy. I think like, let me give you an example, like I think Syndra is going to be so sad because she's going to on average have like probably like 20 less haste in the build, uh, haste in the build and like 100 to 200 less ape in the build. Like you know how much uh, damage she's going to be losing? And, and not just her, obviously like most majors. Most majors are just going to be clapped in the hat. Same goes for like some ADCs, same goes for like, some bruisers, right? And I feel like there's going to be a lot of top lane champions. Like, 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 think about Mundo. Like, is Mundo really affected by any of the changes? Like, no. I feel like Mundo is just, like, the same champion and everything else around him is worse. So he's just better. That's how, like, that's how it feels about it. Uh, it feels to me. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of champions that are going to be feeling this way. Uh, this is going to... Um, yeah, lastly, I want to say that I think these changes are going to make the game, like, really unbalanced. I think a lot of players are going to like play league on the new patch and there's just going to be people are going to like realize over time what's broken and they're going to abuse what's broken and i think the game is going to be very unbalanced and that's what is going to make people really hate this game for a, for a short amount of time until riot does like three four patches and then fixes it um i i truly do think nerfing items is a good decision but I do think that Riot is probably pulling the numbers too much. I think the, the item nerfs are probably a little bit too much, especially in certain classes. And uh, yeah, it's going to make the game very, 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 very unbalanced. That's it. I've been yapping. I've been yapping for God knows how long. <laughs>